Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I'd try something a little bit different. Now, I am kind of like a little bit obsessed with Shane Dawson. I've been watching all of his conspiracy videos. And he started talking about something called the Mandela Effect, or the Mandela Effect. And this has really plagued me and just really made me think about the Mandela Effect, which is crazy. So the Mandela Effect comes from the fact, like the name comes from it, that so many people believed that Nelson Mandela died in prison. So many people remember it like that. But he actually died a few years later, not even in prison. So that's actually where the name comes from, where people remember things how something was, but it actually is something else completely. Like, how crazy is that? They even found a book that had the death date of Nelson Mandela in it, saying that, what did it say? It said that he actually died in prison. If a company had put that in a book and it hadn't have happened, they would have got sued, but nothing ever happened from it. How creepy is that? So that is where the name comes from about the Mandela effect. But there's been so many, and it's been coming a huge popular thing recently with so many people doing videos on it. And I thought like, I really want to talk to you guys about it and see if you guys are interested in that kind of thing. Cause I'm so interested in that thing. I love like urban legends, like alternate universes, the paranormal, like all things like that. I'm just so obsessed with, even though it scares the shit out of me it's still so exciting and so interesting to me so I thought I'd do this video see what you guys think about it and just give you guys a little bit more things to think about there's more to life than just us sort of thing so let me know if you guys think that this video is good and I'll do some more like it like maybe some urban legends on like mermaids which is me as fuck um maybe some urban legends on mermaids or like vampires things like that maybe talk about all that things with you guys but I will only do that if you guys want because I know you want to see my usual content with me applying 100 layers of liquid lipstick or something like that so anyway let's get back to the Mandela effect so you guys may remember a show called the Berenstain Bears or do you remember it as the Berenstain Bears? It's actually the Berenstain Bears. How weird is that? I remember the Berenstain Bears and that there was the five little bears and the mummy and the daddy and the little kids and they'd go to school and stuff and it was always the Berenstain Bears. It's actually the Berenstain Bears. Like, that, that's not the one that got me the most though. The one that got me the most is, do you remember Hannibal Lecter and Silence of the Lambs and all those movies, you know, like, that creepy ass guy. Because my name's Cerise, so many people would say the famous line, Hello, Clarice. And they'd always say that to me and be like, Hello, Cerise. So, to me, that was a big part of me growing up and what I remembered when I watched the movie. I remember him saying, Hello, Clarice, like in this creepy little voice. But do you know what he actually says? He says, Good morning. Where did this line come from? Why do we remember this line? Like, I wish I could go ask him and be like, What did you say? Because I need to know right now. Like, it's so crazy. Why do we remember that? I don't know. And you guys would know little old Mickey Mouse. Here he is here. And you guys would know little old Mickey Mouse. And with his little ears and he'd have his little like, you know, red like pants, yellow buttons, red overalls. No. Mickey Mouse never had overalls. He has red pants with white buttons. What? Like, he has yellow buttons and overalls. So that's what I remember. Like, I remember having this little toy and literally it had the overalls. Like, I wish I could find it now, but unfortunately I don't live at home anymore. So I don't have that toy. But I'm like, why do I remember that? Why do so many people remember that? Another mental effect is, do you, do you remember that movie, Forrest Gump, where he quotes his mother and he's like, Mama says that life is like a box of chocolates. No. He said life was like a box of chocolates. Sorry, what? Like, <laughs> no, you said life is like a box of chocolates because you're like referring to the current life that you have, not like life was, you know, you are in life. What did you say? Come on, Tom Hanks, help me out. Oh, like there's so many ones like that. And then, have you guys, surely you've watched Star Wars. I watch Star Wars, I love Star Wars, and then, you know, Darth Vader, the huge scandal. Oh my God, he's Luke's father and he tells Luke, he's like, Luke, I am your father, but it's more like, <sighs> Luke, <sighs> I am your father. Ah, cue big music there. But he actually says, no, I am your father. Since, 
since when? Since when did he say that? He never said that. He said, look, I'm your father. There is like toys and things that, you know, like memorabilia that the companies made that said, Luke, I am your father. But in the movie, it says, no, I am your father. So why do we remember this? Some people theorize that what's happened is we're living in an alternate universe. What? And that in these alternate universes, we are remembering, like, we are from one universe. We remember what's happening in this universe. We get switched over to another universe. And then... I don't know, it's really confusing. It kind of makes sense when you watch more and more videos into it and I can delve into that if you want a Mandela Effects part two, but I thought I would go on this and share some of the craziest Mandela Effects that have really kind of fucked me up a little bit. Also, do you guys remember Sex in the City? Or do you remember Sex and the City? It's Sex and the City and I remember it being Sex in the City. In, in, in the city. Because I was like, oh my god, she's having Sex in the City. Like, huh. But so many people, like, remember both but I had like a perfume set with perfumes body lotions hand creams and they all said sex in the city what what does that prove that was made by the sex and the city company why is it sex in the city products I just think that's so ridiculously weird I don't know it's just it plagues me it's weird and another one I'll, I'll leave this as the last one because I don't know this just, uh, talking about it is just so creepy, but do you guys know the Queen song, We Are The Champions? And you know the end and he's like, No time for losers, cause we are the champions of the world. Da -na -na. That's how I thought it went, but apparently it says, No time for losers, we are the champions. And end, end, like end song. Where do we think of the world comes from? And it kind of like fades out. Like, where did that come from? I have absolutely no idea. And it creeps me out as to why so many people thought like that. Are we in an alternate universe? Have people just like said something's one way for so long that we've all just started believing it? Does it prove we're all sheep? What, what is going on? Sound off in the comments down below what you guys really think. And let me know if you like these kind of videos and I'll keep doing them for you. But until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.